Hi guys, Jack Miller here. Um, here to answer the uh, questions that you guys have sent in over uh, social media, so uh, we'll get crack on. Um, first of all, we've got a question here. How is the uh, recovery for my leg? Well, um, yeah, I made a little walk, so that's a bonus, but uh, no, it feels good. I mean, uh, we're here at Phillip Island. We've uh, put softer spring in, so the rear brake should work, and uh, yeah, got my boot on, so most of the job's done. We'll just uh, have to wait and see till tomorrow. Uh, next question is, what was your best race in MotoGP last year? The well, best race would have had to be in Phillip Island, I think, last year. It was uh, an awesome race. We uh, we'd be, had been fast all weekend, and uh, yeah, to be top open here at home was, was also really nice. But uh, of course, could have been a little better. The tyre went really rotten towards the end, so uh, hopefully we'll be able to improve that this year. Um, third question. Ideal team, mate. Yeah. That's a hard one. I've had a lot of good teammates and, you know, I'm just starting out with Tito, so uh, I think it's looking pretty good this year. It should be good. Uh, goals for the coming season, I mean, uh, it's, it's hard to set a goal at the moment, you know. We've got to judge where, where we are with myself and also with how the bike is and, uh, yeah, we'll see. But, uh, of course, you know, to try and push against the other Hondas is, of course, one of the, one of the key things. Do you think a podium finish is possible this season? Well, it depends if we get a wet race. If we get a wet race, I'll give it a damn good go, but of course I'd like to go really fast and dry as well. So, uh, no, we'll give it a try and, uh, you know, nothing's impossible, but uh, we've got to be realistic here. I mean, after the season last year, we need to just focus on improving where we left off. Will Michelin, will Michelin tyres suit, uh, suit my riding style better? It's hard to say, you know, I'm fortunate enough that I only had one year on the, uh, the Bridgestone tyres, whereas a lot of guys have have built their whole careers on that tyre, so um, that'll be interesting. I think I can adapt to it pretty quickly, but uh, we'll see, you know, it'll be a different tyre in this test as to what I tested in Valencia, so uh, we'll see what happens. Do I have any pre-race rituals? Nothing more than crapping myself, I mean. I definitely got to go for a, go to the toilet before I have, to have, have a race. Mainly to lose a bit of weight, but also to uh, to release a little bit of the stress and nerves and stuff like that. I mean, nothing real. I, I'm not a sort of uh, superstitious or anything type of guy, so uh, I just sort of float along. Why did I choose number 43? Um, well, I didn't actually choose it. It was uh, it was given to me. I had 543 my whole junior career as a motocross racer, and then when I went to road bikes, I sort of you know you have to drop a, a digit, so drop the five off, and that was 43. But then when I came to uh, Moto3 in the World Championship, I wasn't allowed to use it in the first year, so I went number eight because my mum chose it, and then here we are back at 43. How do you motivate yourself after a bad result? That's a hard one. I mean, uh, it's always difficult, but you got to look at try and look at the positives, you know, of any situation, whether it's a, a crash or, or or just a, a bad weekend, you know, a slow weekend. It's uh, you've always got to try and look at the positives of what you learnt and uh, take the good with the bad. You know, I mean, I've had a, a lot of bad years, but I've also had some good years. So, uh, you know, I feel you just got to look on the bright side. I think. Uh, apart from Phillip Island, what is your favourite track? I really like Texas. Texas is a, is an awesome track, but also Argentina is. Now that we've got that on the calendar, it's also another good one. You know, all the modern, really new modern tracks like Texas and Argentina, I'm really liking a lot. That and the the grip levels a little bit low there, so you get, especially with the MotoGP bike, you get to play around with sliding it a lot and stuff like that. So, uh, and the elevation changes in Texas is, is is awesome. I love that first section. Um, are we going to see any more goon riding this season? Well, I mean, I hope you're talking about the after race stuff and not my actual riding style. That'd be that'd, that'd be a bit rude. But no, I mean, we'll see. I, I mean, I always try to throw a little bit of it in there, but it's it's hard when you have a bad result. You don't want to be going out and trying to ride like a goon because you we already did enough of that through the session. So hopefully we'll be able to go a little bit faster this year and deserve to do a bit of it. Uh, is there any real no matter in the MotoGP paddock? I think so, you know, I get along with a lot of guys, especially Cal. We, him and myself, we get along really well, so, uh, yeah, I, th I think there is, you know. Uh, it depends who you're talking to. I think everyone's pretty friendly, but, uh, of course, the, the higher up the ladder you go, I think it, uh, it gets a little bit harder to be friendly. Oh, Do I have any pets? In Europe? No, in Australia, yes. 
We have, uh, I grew up on a farm, so we've got four dogs, 80 head of cattle, three, cow, ah, three horses, and uh, I think about six sheep. We had about 15, but dingoes ate most of them. Um, should you get a championship point for the best wheelies? Well, if we did, I definitely would have had a lot more points than last year, so uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Favourite dinosaur? Velociraptor. Um, is the true PR guy wears fishnets under his trousers? Ian, do you wear fishnets under your trousers? Definitely not. I think he might. I think he might. <laughs>